Hey guys, it is Paul Jones, your NAC Cheer, coming back with episode two of the NAC Corner, and this episode is going to be short and sweet. First of all, I hope you guys had a great summer. I cannot believe it's over, but we are already into September, and there is some exciting stuff coming up next week that I want to make sure you knew about, and it involves this building. Anybody know what it is? Of course, the U.S. Capitol. Renee and I in, are in Woodbridge, Virginia, and we live uh, probably about 20 miles outside of Washington, D.C., and I am a political junkie. I have been ever since I've been an adult, and I couldn't wait to move here um, because I wanted to, there's just something about being this close to everything that's going on in Washington. It's true what they say. Um, you really can make a difference. One person going and having a conversation with your congressmen and representatives really can make a difference in what laws are passed, um, how rules are instituted, all kinds of things. And so your NAC is actually going to get involved in that next week. There's an organization, if you haven't heard of it, you should check it out, called the International Franchise Association. Every year has um, an annual meeting here in D.C. called the Franchise Action Network, and that's what we're doing. So uh, we are going to be joined next week with Jeff Beavis, uh, Daniel Canton, Devin Beavis is coming, Jackie O'Quinn. I'm telling you, if there is anybody who can lobby Congress, it is Jackie O'Quinn. That woman should run for president. Jackie O'Quinn, Kim McGraw's coming, Sandy Sherman, Tim Mackin, and we are going to be in D.C. for two days on Capitol Hill inside this building. As a matter of fact, if I take the top off, you can already see. Uh, there we are in the rotunda. There we are. We are going to be on Capitol Hill lobbying for the interests of franchise owners all across the country. There is some legislation that uh, first got um, traction in California and now could become a federal law that would really impact franchisees, not just in First Light, but in any franchise operation around the country. So it is important, we believe, to speak for you and go and advocate for all of us to continue to be able to make a difference as entrepreneurs and business owners, business owners who wanted to go into business for themselves but not by themselves and to do so through franchising. Check out the links that I have dropped in uh, along with this video. And I'm gonna to try to shoot some, um, some footage next week while we are running around in DC uh, so that you can see what it's about. If you have things you want us to talk about uh, or try to track down your uh, local um, senator or representative, shoot me an email. Um, we will be meeting, uh, having our NAC meeting on site in DC next week. Um, and we will reach out to anybody that uh, you want us to. So that is the latest, and I wanted to make sure you knew about it. Oh, shout outs. I want to give some shout outs. Hang on. I've got to jump over to my email. I want to give a shout out to Robin Peak. Robin, you took a deep dive after watching episode one, and you decided to start exploring your why, um, which I think is fantastic. And you came up with to help to care for the needs of others so that the things we do for others is rewarding. I think it's an awesome move in the right direction. So thank you for taking that up. It's fantastic. Shout out to Steve Rowe, who also watched the video and, uh, and had some feedback and we really appreciate that. Our last shout out is for Jenna Sammer. Jenna, you're the care coordinator and office administrator up in Wisconsin. And you took the time to uh, let me know that you saw the first episode. Uh, and to talk to us about the challenges that you have had with your technology migration. And we heard you loud and clear. As a matter of fact, that's the second thing I wanna to talk to you about on this video today. And you will hear more about that in the newsletter. But as of yesterday, we have all made the decision, the technology committee, the NAC, together with the support center and leadership to pause, hear me say pause, our current migration to QuickBooks Online Care Smarts 360. Why are we doing that? Well, um, the feedback that you guys have given us is that for all of this to work, it had to work perfectly. And we've gotten behind in some of those different components. And so the smart thing to do for everybody in the system is to press pause, step back a little bit, realize, figure out a better way to organize the different uh, software platforms that we need to implement. So your payroll changes, your financial software changes with QuickBooks and CareSmarts 360. We realized we were doing too many of those too closely together and we were getting behind and it was gonna cause frustration for you guys. So those of you that took the time, like Jenna, to let us know what's working and what's not working, 
Thank you. This is another example of how your voice matters. So if there's a theme uh, to this episode, that would be it, is you make a difference. So if you've got thoughts, don't be afraid to share them. Uh, We're going to go to this building next week and share your thoughts uh, with the rest of the country. I think that's it for now. Um, I will be back in touch with you soon. Thanks for joining me. Hope you guys have a wonderful September, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.